Look at question number 13. It says, probability that A speaks truth is 4 by 5. A coin is tossed. A reports that a head appears. And you have to find the probability that actually there was a head. So, read the question once again. And then you can clearly figure out that it is Bayes' theorem. Well, you toss a coin and then A either speaks the truth or he or she lies. So clearly, coming head or tails are the pure events. That is, they become mutually exclusive and exhaustive. So let's solve the question. Now, E1 is a head and E2 is tail. So they become mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. And they are equally likely to come. So clearly, P of E1 is equal to P of E2 equals 1 by 2. And then we take the concerned event. And the concerned event is clearly that the person reports that there is head. So either, once again, either he or she is lying or they are speaking the truth. But the question says there was actually a head. Before that, now if there is a head and person is speaking the truth, then the probability is 4 by 5. Because it's clearly mentioned that the probability that person speaks the truth is 4 by 5. And if there is not a head, that is if there is a tail, still the person says that it is a head. So the conditional probability becomes 1 by 5. Why it is the conditional probability? Well, after seeing the heads or tails, the person decides to report that this is a head. So clearly, in the given condition of heads or tails, he or she is either lying or speaking the truth. And now the question turns and it says that the person reports that there is a head. So this time F is given and find the probability that actually there was a head. So now it is the probability of even oblique F. And this is probability of even intersection F divided by probability of even intersection F plus probability of E2 intersection F. And that can further be taken as P of E1 into P of F over E1 divided by P of E1 into P of F over E1 plus P of E2 into P of F over E2. And by putting the values, we can directly get the answer.